Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. If you have been wondering how can you change your Duolingo avatar to a profile picture, then you came to the right place. Today in this video I'll show you exactly how to do that and in a very easy and clear method as well. So if that's what you're looking for, follow up with me till the very end to make no mistakes and let's jump right into it already. So first, open your Duolingo application, wait for it to load up make sure you are logged into your account. From here, if you try to open your profile by tapping this avatar in the bottom, you get your avatar at the top right here. If you tap on it, you cannot change it to a profile picture from here, you can just customize it a little bit. Even if you try to open your settings by tapping the gear icon in the top right corner right here, it will take you to your settings where you can change the avatar to another avatar or maybe edit your avatar from here as well. If you're wondering how can you add a profile picture like me right here, I'll show you exactly how. So quit from the app, this time open your browser, go to duolingo.com and log in from your same account here on the web version as well. And then tap on the avatar again in the bottom right corner, it will take you to your profile. Right on top of your avatar, you find this little pen, go ahead and tap on it. You'll be taken to this page, simply tap on choose file right here, you'll be taken to your gallery, and from here tap on the picture that you want to use as a profile picture on Duolingo, it is as easy as that. Once you're done choosing the picture, tap on save changes in the top right corner of the screen right here, wait for the changes to be saved in a couple of seconds, once you're done quit from here, now again open Duolingo, and now once you go back to settings by tapping the gear icon again in the top right corner, wait for a couple of seconds and voila, the profile picture is changed and basically it is changed from avatar to profile picture on Duolingo. And that is it for this video guys, I hope it was useful, if it was please like and leave your questions and comments in the comment section, I'll try to answer every single one, and of course don't forget to subscribe for future videos like this one, thank you very much for watching and see you in future videos.